Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Half-Life 2 Episode 1, or should I say Half-Life 2 Episode 1 M-Mod Edition, I learned recently. Uh, there is an M-Mod for Episodes 1 and 2, so I went ahead and downloaded and installed that. For some reason, it wasn't in my Steam library. Um, but yeah, now the game will look much prettier, or at least more up-to-date. It looked pretty before, but now it has like new sound effects and new animations and all that fun stuff. And I feel like I'm zippier, you know, when it comes to movement. Before we were just kind of la dee dying our way through, but now I feel like we're moving with purpose, you know? Oh jeez, that's a weird sound effect. Can you guys get to us? No? Okay. Oh, maybe. Is that an open doorway? It is. That's gonna be problematic. Hopefully you guys don't know that this is here. Alex, I thought- go back and shoot them. No, go back and shoot them. Can we clear them out before they notice? Before they notice the open doorway? Did you clear them out already? Hot dang. Alex. Oh, no, there we go. I was about to say, you efficient lady. No, 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 no. You like being called a lady? Maybe I shouldn't call you a lady. I personally feel really uncomfortable when someone calls me lady or ma'am or miss. I'm like, I'm not, I'm not mature enough. I'm not old enough for that kind of treatment, <laughs> you know? I'm pretty sure even when I'm like old and gray, I'm going to be like, please don't call me ma'am. Please don't call me miss. You know, just something about it, you know? Just be like, hey, you, and I'll probably respond. To be honest, like, you know, that used to be a thing. <laughs> like, I would respond to anything. You know, someone would be like, hey, Samantha, and I'd turn around and it's like, that's not even remotely my name. You know, it doesn't even remotely sound like my name. Yet somehow, some way, I would like think it's me and I don't know why. Oh, get out of here. I think it's because I've had a lot of nicknames growing up. Like my dad's side of the family called me Maraid because my dad's side of the family is Irish. And apparently, you know, for some reason that became a thing. I can't remember exactly why. Okay. Alex, if you can handle them, do you mind? Stop it. Okay. Thank you. I know. I appreciate the reminder. But yeah, I get called something different on my dad's side of the family. You know, growing up, I had a bunch of different nicknames because Megan was such a common name. You know, there'd be like three Megans and it's like, okay, so which one are we going to call this one? <laughs> So, you know, I think I just got used to being called a whole bunch of different names. So I'm just like, yeah, what? You know, to anything. Okay. Uh, is there another car nearby? You doing okay, Alex? I believe in you. I'm sure you're doing fine. I'm sure you're doing amazing. Oh, God. Oh, God. That's a lot. Okay, hold on. That's a lot for one person to deal with. Okay. How many holes are there? How does that even count? I don't know, but I'm not going to question it. I mean, I guess I just did. But I'm no longer going to question it, because it certainly helps us out that that counts. Okay. Can I kill you with the gravity gun, or do I just knock you over? I think I just knock you over. Good job. Okay. Uh, are there cars up here? Yes. I guess so. It's a parking garage. That would make sense. Okay. So we got to plug all the holes before we can continue. I guess that's the plan. Okay. <laughs> what do you think of these hydraulics, huh? Huh? Okay. I know nothing about cars, just so we're clear. I think it's hydraulics that makes the cars bounce. Like in the old days of MTV when they would pimp your ride and give you sweet hydraulics. Do you mind? I'm trying to be reminiscent of, you know, back in the old days. In simpler times. There we go. Okay, so we need one more car. Hopefully there's one nearby. I think Alex might die before I find it, not gonna lie. How did you- I forget you guys can jump. <laughs> Somehow I forget you guys can kind of, like, fly. Okay. Not exactly like, you know, fly like a bird. But you guys can still get pretty dang far. Okay. I noticed. Thank you, Nancy. No, you get out of here. Okay. God dang. I don't know why, but this section is reminding me, probably because it's just very repetitive and very frustrating to a degree. Like, it's not too bad yet. But, uh, it kind of reminds me of that section in... The Last of Us, where you have to, you know, uh, try to get that truck going. And Ellie's, like, driving the truck and you're pushing it along down a hill so it can, you know, recharge the battery or whatever. It kind of reminds me of that. Hey, do you mind? Leave her alone. I guess they don't mind. Otherwise, they wouldn't be doing that. Um, are you alive? Nope. Okay. But for some reason... Oh, there's a gate there. And you are alive. God dang it. No, don't you pull out- don't you pull out a grenade. Don't you pull out a grenade. So help me. Thank you, Alex. But for some reason it reminds me of that. 
Probably just because we're pushing cars around. Okay. And there we go. Okay. You doing good, Alex? You doing okay? That's great. It sounds like you're doing magnificent. Okay. I promise we're almost done. I just gotta, you know, eventually push this into a hole. Put some cars in holes and all that. Okay. Uh, do you mind? Get, get out of here. I don't know why I keep asking you guys if you mind. I don't know why. I feel so compelled to ask your opinion when clearly you're making your opinion known by trying to murder me dead. Get out of here. There we go. Modern day pinatas. Okay. <laughs> Modern day pinatas. The freaking weird alien bugs. The antlion. There we go. No, get over there, get over there, get over there. You get over there. Are we good? Does that count? Please tell me that counts. Because they're really starting to get on my nerves. Ooh, two for one. There we go. That counts. Okay. Alex, we're good. We can finally breathe easy. Alex? Are you trying to... Are you trying to find me? Where are you? Are you trying to find another car? <laughs> Honey, where did we park the car? Said every person who ever visited a theme park. I only know that because I used to work at a theme park and we used to like, you know, have people ask us all the time, like, do you know where we parked? It's like, how would we know? <laughs> I mean, you know, uh, some theme parks kind of have like a system set up for that. Fun fact, if you ever visit Universal Studios Orlando and you can't remember where you parked, where are you? Hello? Are you talking to me from the beyond? Okay, I'll find her in a second. But yeah, if you ever visit Universal and you can't remember where you parked, if you remember what time you parked um, on the on the lights out in the parking garages, there's like a little blue button you can press um, on the street lamps. And, uh, you know, that calls to guest services, I think. And if you tell them what time you parked, uh, they'll tell you what section they were parking cars in at that time. So if it's like, you know, I came in around 10 o'clock, they'll be like, oh, you're parked in Jurassic Park or you're parked in King Kong. And that kind of like narrows it down for you. So it's a very useful, neat trick. I don't know if Disney has that set up, but I do know Universal has that. You ready to go? That's true. I don't know where we're going. <laughs> I was too busy rambling to actually figure out where we're going. Um, I was too busy giving people the insider info on how to find your car if you ever go to a theme park. Yeah, no, I got no clue. I mean, you're staying up here, so I'm assuming it's somewhere up here. Right? Hopefully, that would make sense. That would be the logical approach. Oh. Are we supposed to get- Oh! Well, I mean, can we have just taken- I guess the antlions would have, like, been harassing us the entire time. But I guess we could have just, you know, opened this. Rather than having to deal with all the antlions. We did it the proper way. Maybe not the most efficient but definitely the proper way. Okay. And like I said, thank you, Nancy. I think the ant lines would have made it really difficult to get through here if they were still on our butts. Okay. Can barely see a thing in here. So dang dark. So ding dang dark. Oh God. Okay. Hey, I don't know if I want to deal with a water level yet. <laughs> I don't know if I want to deal with a water section yet. Oh God. Oh, hey. Okay. Thank you. Okay. That also cracked me up. I went back to edit the last episode. And I was laughing. I was cackling to myself because, like, I missed one of the, the zombies. And Alex was like, great shot. And, like, you know, because I missed and I hit a wall, it was like, it sounded like she was being facetious or making fun of me. And it's like, oh, Alex. If only you had the wherewithal, I guess, to know that I had missed. That'd be fun. At the same time. Like, I'm just gonna assume, like, if I miss and she's like, great shot. I'm just gonna take it facetiously. Um, you know, like, she's being a smartass. But that would be fun. I look forward to the day where AI can be self-aware enough to, like, you know, be sarcastic or something. You know? Especially in video games. You okay? You're lucky you've got that hazard suit. This water's nasty. You got room for two in there? Uh, you know, I don't like my personal space invaded, so no. <laughs> You're just gonna have to tough it out, you know? Um, but yeah, I forget what I was talking about. Oh, AI getting to the point where I can be sarcastic. Or, you know, like I said, 
uh, getting to the point where, like, you know, if I miss, Alex can be like, great job, but it's like, you know, sarcastically, facetiously. That'll be a fun day. Oh god, no, you stay there. No, you stay there too! There we go. Okay. Oh, jeez. Ow, ow, what's going on? Oh, wow. We're getting it from both sides, huh? Okay. Oh my god, how many hits does it take to get to the intestinal center of a zombie? You know, it's not as catchy. I can see why Tootsie Roll probably wouldn't think of any branding like that. You okay? That was cool. She did like a little, you know, shoulder hit to him to knock him off balance. That was cool. Was that an animation that was available before the M mod? I don't know. But we're doing good. We're doing fine. We're doing dandy. Okay. Could be doing better, but also could be doing much worse. We're doing mediocre, which is all I can ask for. Yeah, I wouldn't get your hopes up. <laughs> I know this song and dance a little too well. You know, we'll probably get to the surface and then something will happen that, you know, inhibits us from getting to the surface. Or, you know, it destroys all of our progress. Ah, oh, my flashlight. No, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, there is also an option. I'm not going to do it, but I like with the unlock. There's also an option to have the flashlight run off of suit energy. So if you have a lot of suit energy, you can uh, keep the flashlight on and it just slowly drains the suit energy. But I like to keep that for health, you know? For when I'm running low on health, it's a good, uh, you know, alternative option. I don't believe in an actual elevator. I would have settled for stairs. Yeah, about that. Please don't press the button. Someone's going to come crashing down. No? Oh. Well. You've got to be kidding. No. Seems like we're all out of energy. I worked with electricity a time or two. I'm pretty sure this sparking wire must be connected to a power supply. Hopefully. Okay. Sorry, Alex, if I didn't really capture your voice all that well. I am not, you know, a professional voice actor by any stretch of the imagination. I mean, I probably could have tried, but still. I don't have, like, that... I don't know. Like, I think it's the same reason why, like, I'm tone deaf. Like, I can hear how I sound in my head, and I'm like, yeah, that sounds similar, but then I hear it out loud, you know, later. It's like when you hear your voice for the first time, and it's not in your head, you're like, oh god, I sound completely different than what I thought I sounded like, you know? Like, I don't have that connection between, like, you know, what my voice sounds like when I'm not talking as compared to... Okay, we'll check in a second. I want these supplies real quick. But, like, I don't... I'm not able to, like you know, piece together what my voice sounds like in my head as compared to what my voice sounds like, you know, uh, to everyone else. Even though I listen to myself talk all the time since I edit these videos. I still haven't, like, you know, pieced it all together, if that makes sense. And I think, like, you know, that's probably something voice actors have to do. They have to be very aware of what they sound like in their head as compared to what they sound like, you know, to everyone else. So that's how they're able to do those voices. But yeah. And like I said... Like, I'm pretty sure, I don't know if I'm actually tone deaf. I don't know how you figure out if you're tone deaf. But, uh, you know, I've heard myself sing. <laughs> I'm not the best singer. Um, so, you know. I, I think it's just one of those things where it's like I'm missing a vital part of, like, that wherewithal to know what you sound like. Uh, as compared to, like, what you sound like in your head. Oh, no. My flashlight. Did I get it? Oh, no. Uh, maybe. Uh, possibly. Oh, hey. <laughs> how long have you been up there? Just hanging out? Huck, huck, huck. Okay. I guess we're full on shotgun. Are we full on the nine millimeter? Nope. So I will be taking those. Thank you. Okay. I'm going to put this back in here. So I remember where it is in case I need it later. There we go. Okay. I also have the attention span of an ad. So if I like place it anywhere other than in there, I'm going to forget. Okay. So we need to follow the sparking wire. Okay. Have we explored everywhere? Sorry, just real quick. My attention span is not the greatest right now. Okay. I just want to make sure I don't miss out on any supplies or any goodies. Thank you, Nancy. I know you really want to get to that wire. But uh, I think we'll leave it down to the wire. Da -da -da. Not that we're under any pressure or anything. You know? It's weirdly quiet in here. I'm just waiting for something to pop up and go boogity boo. Okay. There is like a lot of explosives around. So I feel like someone's probably going to come and attack us. Probably after we figure out where this wire leads. But still, for now, we actually have some peace and quiet and it's kind of nice. Not gonna lie. 
Like, I definitely like that part of the game. I like that, you know, it's very action-packed. And I do like just how many enemies you can take out at once. It makes you feel super high. <laughs> You're very close. It makes you feel super OP. But sometimes it's very quick in succession. You know, like you get like 20 seconds of a breather and then there's more enemies. And then, you know, you get 30 seconds of a breather and then it's more enemies. So it's kind of exhausting to a degree sometimes. Having to deal with so many enemies and try to talk at the same time. Oh, hey. Well, that was excellent timing. By excellent, I mean terrifying. Does it go over this way? Is this the same wire? Oh, probably. There we go. How long has this been here? Oh, how long have you been here? Hi, why did that scare me? No, I can't back up. Ow. Ah, the fence got in the way. Where are you? Don't add insult to injury. Rude. Okay. I'm probably going to need that health now. Wait, is this the place where we got supplies before? I think it is. How did I miss out on the energy? Come here, you. There we go. I'll actually take some of that health now, if you don't mind. Thank you. Did I use the shotgun? I can't remember. No. I used the 9mm. Okay, it was all a blur. I couldn't remember which gun I used. We're all reloaded? Perfect. Okay. We are ready and set to go. Or are we? <laughs> Sorry, hold on. Let me see. Let me just double check and see if there's anything in here. There's a lot of supplies around. I feel like there's a lot of supplies around for a reason. Uh, but I still haven't figured out what that reason is yet. Okay. Sorry, my nose itched. It's been very itchy lately. I don't know why. I guess because it's getting colder around here. Oh, here we go. Da 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 da. Hey, I hear the elevator. It's moving again. Oh, really? Uh, I will say that was much easier than I expected. Oh, and here comes trouble. Yeah, here comes trouble. Trouble usually comes in pairs or in groups in this case. All right. Which one, though? There's two. Which one would you prefer? I would prefer that one because it's still alive. There we go. Oh, geez, and it has a grenade. Back it up, back it up, back it up. Okay, we're good. I never thought about that before. What do you... Oh, no, my flashlight. Ah, I'm sorry, Alex. What do you call a group of zombies? Is there, like, a term for it? I don't know. I am. Okay. We're running on low. We're running on empty, though, so we're gonna have to shoot in the dark for a bit. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. They're back. Oh, God. Those things are back. The alien werewolf zombies. I'm sure I'll be here soon. Well, you know, soon enough that, uh, as soon as we get rid of all these zombies, it'll appear. Until then, we have this lovely shooting gallery to keep us entertained. I hear another one. Ow. Where did you come from? You guys know how to move fast, man. Ah, you move very fast for What's taking so long? zombies that are covered in, like, you know, pretty hardy uh armor and stuff like that oops sorry alex i probably should have checked to make sure you weren't like right next to that before i shot oh my god i hate these things they take so many hits <laughs> you know they're heavy hitters but they can also take a hit or two thank you it was from point blank range so i would hope so ow ow oh god oh god ah uh, oh my god where did you come from why are there so many of you Okay, let's go. Ow. Just run. Just run. Okay. You get on first, and then I'll follow. You good? Oh my god, there's so many of them. Yeah, where did they all come from? Well, I guess that's what we get for having it be too quiet for too long. You know, it just accumulated over time. Whoa, that's crazy. That body is, like, moving by itself. Uh -huh. <laughs> I don't know why I felt compelled to do that. That was a waste of a shot. It did feel good, though. Okay, cool. Well, now that we made it to a new area, I am going to leave this episode here. This seems like a good place to pause, and hopefully we're back on the surface. I'm hoping we're going to be able to, you know, meet up with uh, Dr. Kleiner and Eli soon. Yeah. Oh, I forgot to turn that off. There's like a particle effect or whatever, or not a particle effect. There's like an effect where like you can have like, uh, you know like stains on the screen and stuff like that which I like it kind of makes sense because I feel like with the hazard suit you'd probably have a helmet and the helmet would have like a you know a screen that you look through 
with like a plate of glass or plastic or whatever to protect your eyes. So that would probably get dirty and you'd probably get like dirt particles and stuff on it. So I like it, but at the same time, it's kind of distracting at times. So I might turn that off. Either way, I am going to leave this episode here. And uh, in the next episode, we'll continue to, you know, search for Dr. Kleiner and Eli or make our way to Dr. Kleiner and Eli. But that is going to be it for this episode of Half-Life 2 Episode 1 and Mod Edition. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. And of course, I do want to thank you all for watching. And I will see you in our next little adventure. Bye.